Hello, my dears. Welcome back to English class. How are you, dears? I hope we all are fine. <laughs> Aren't we? Yes, we are fine. Okay, uh, let's uh, come back to our snake and the mirror. Don't you remember the mirror and the snake? The snake who looked into the mirror and forgot about the homeopath. Don't you remember? Yes. Okay. Uh, we have read the story and I think you enjoyed the story. Didn't you? It was a beautiful story. And in Malayalam, it was more beautiful. And we have uh, listened to the Malayalam story and we have read the English story also. Okay, now we are going into the story. We are going to analyze the story from the exam point of view. And there is an exam. <laughs> an exam is coming. And we have to write so many discourses from this lesson. Okay, let us see what are the possible questions that can be asked for the examination. Are you ready? Listen here. I hope you have the uh, notebook with you. Okay, yes, listen. So, uh, here are the possible questions from the story, the snake and the mirror. Uh, there are the discourses, usual discourses, diary, letter, newspaper report, character sketch, conversation, narration, profile and questions for interview. So these are the uh, discourses that can be asked uh, from this story, the snake and the mirror. Let us come back to the uh, dis, uh, detailed questions of each discourse. So first is the diary. And I think you remember how to write a diary. In the last lesson, Adventures in the Banyan Tree, uh, we have uh, discussed uh, in detail about diary. So from this uh, story, The Snake and the Mirror, there is a chance for asking Two diary from the two context. Diary from two context. Look here. What is the first context? This is. The homeopath was frightened at the snake event. He didn't even believe that he was still alive. He writes his feelings in his diary. Prepare the likely diary entry. Did you get the context? When he reached the uh, friend's house, he is writing a diary. So there is a second context for the diary. That is, this is. Let's read. Returning home after escaping from the snake, the homeopath was shocked to see almost everything he had was stolen. He was upset and jolted down his thoughts in his diary. Prepare the likely diary entry. So th this is, this diary is uh, the day after the snake event when the homeopath returned to his room to take the things away. What happened? There is nothing in the room. What happened to the uh, things? A thief has stolen them. So that is the context for this diary entry. And I know uh, you can write this, these two diaries for yourself. Isn't, uh, can't, can't you? Yes, you can. Now come to the next discourse, which is a letter. And the letter also we have discussed in the last lesson, Adventures in a Banyan Tree. Be, have me? Yes, we have uh, discussed. So you know how to write a personal letter. This is the question. Simple. The homeopath was frightened at the snake event. He didn't even believe that he was still alive. He writes a letter to his friend about this. Prepare the likely letter. 
So, uh, write down this question and write the uh, letter on your own. Okay. So, next is a newspaper report. Next discourse is a newspaper report that can be asked from this lesson. So, what is the question for newspaper report? Read it, please. The wonderful escape of the homeopath from the full-blooded cobra was in the next day's local newspaper. Prepare the likely newspaper report. A newspaper report also we have discussed uh, uh, in the lesson Adventures in a Barry So you know how to write a newspaper report. If you don't remember, <laughs> what, what can you do? Just recap that class. You can uh, watch the class once more and uh, learn and remember, remind yourself how to write a newspaper report. So write down this question in your notebook and write the newspaper report. Okay? Yes. So uh, next discourse is character sketch. We have been discussed character sketch. So we are going to discuss it now. The character sketch. Let's see what is the question of the character sketch. The homeopath in the story, the snake and the mirror, is an interesting character. A doctor blended with humor. Attempt a character sketch of the homeopath. So, write down the uh, character sketch of the homeopath. We, we will discuss it uh, in this class. Okay. Let's see what is the next uh, discourse that can be asked from this story. That is, is tell me, share conversation. Uh, what may be the context uh, that can be asked for writing a conversation? Listen, this is. Read it, please. One of his friends asked the homeopath, about the snake event. Prepare the likely conversation between the homeopath and his friend. Uh, we, we are familiar with conversation and we are uh, every time we are making conversation. So I think you can write it. Just try and send me the conversation. I will correct you uh, and I will give you uh, some directions. Okay. So it's your uh, assignment. It is your job. Write down the question in your notebook and write down the conversation and send me. Okay. So, next uh, discourse is narration. Narration, you know. Narrate the event in your own words. So, this is the question. What is the question for narration? Why can Muhammad Bashir is a master storyteller? The story, the snake and the mirror is an example of his writing style blended with humor. Narrate in your own words the incidents in the story highlighting the elements of humor. So uh, you just uh, give the brief of the summary of the story and then write about the humor Bashir used in the story. That's simple. You can do it. Okay. So, next discourse is profile, profile of Waike Muhammad Bashir. Then we will discuss in another class. And, and another discourse is question for interview. What is the question here? Imagine that you happen to meet the homeopath. Prepare five questions you would like to ask him. Okay, we will uh, deal with uh, this discourse also in the next class. Next, next class, we will deal with how to um, prepare questions to interview a person. Okay. So, uh, these are the possible questions that can be asked from this unit. So, you just uh, write down, prepare this table in your notebook. And uh, when you, uh, when, when your exam, final exam is coming, you can just go through these questions and you, you can remember all the 
events in the story and uh, uh, possible questions also. Okay, so write down this table. Prepare this table in your notebook. Okay. And I will give you all oh, this, uh, this PDF in our group. Then you can write it down. Okay, Leos. Now we are going to discuss how to write a character sketch. Okay, okay listen. listen. How to write a character sketch. What do you mean by character sketch? Character, you know, character in a story, in a drama or in a novel, etc. In a, in a cinema, cinema, anyway. That, that is, is a character. character. Then what do you mean by character sketch? We are writing about the character. The appearance of the character, the behavior of the character, the mannerisms of the character and everything about a special, a particular character. That is character sketch so let us read the character sketch of the homeopath then you can understand how to write a character sketch okay ready so, so here, here is the character sketch of the homeopath and, and what, what is the question, question? Listen. listen read, read the, the question, question please the homeopath in the story, the snake and the mirror is an interesting character. A doctor blended with humor. Attempt a character sketch of the homeopath. A doctor blended with humor. Don't you remember the humor, uh, the sentences the doctor is saying uh, in, a, in a humorous way. So that is the a doctor blended with humor. Attempt a character sketch of the homeopath. Okay, let us read the character sketch. So, there should be uh, a title for the character sketch. What is the title here? The homeopath. I will read it. Listen carefully. Okay? The homeopath in the story, the snake and the mirror is an interesting character. He had just started his practice as a homeopathic doctor. He had only 60 rupees with him. He was not at all rich. He lived in a small rented room. It had no electricity. There are lots of rats to share the room with him. He was a great admirer of beauty. He decided to shave every day and always wear a smile. He was, a, he was very proud to be a handsome young doctor. He had a rich sense of humor. The story is full of humor. His comments upon everything were humorous. He called his decision to wear a smile as earth shaking. His ideas about his would be wife also were strange. He wanted to marry a young rich lady doctor who was very fat. He could be humorous even at the face of a full blooded cobra. He thought of himself as a poor, foolish, stupid doctor. When the snake crawled towards the mirror, he commented that it wanted to enjoy its own beauty at a closer quarters. I like the homeopath because of his humor sense. He tells the incident in such a way that we don't feel the tension of the incident. That's all. This is the character sketch of the homeopath in the story, the snake and the mirror. Okay. Uh, I think there is no difficult words in this uh, character sketch. All the words we have uh, studied in the story. There is no new words. There is no difficult words. And 
If there is a difficult word, what can you do? Just Google it. Google and the other day. Avaka, Google and the type of the word. And then the pronunciation, and then the meaning, you will get it. Very simple. So do it. And if you have any doubt in the meaning of a sentence, you can ask me. Ask me personally or in our group. A chodikimbo. This sentence in the meaning of the sentence is not the same. This is the same. This is the same. This Okay? Now, look at the first paragraph of the uh, character sketch. I will read it once more. When I read it, listen to it carefully. And tell me whether it is about the character of the homeopath or about the Condition of the homeopath. Okay? Listen. First paragraph. The homeopath in the story, The Snake and the Mirror, is an interesting character. That is the first line of the character sketch. He had just started his practice as a homeopathic doctor. He had only 60 rupees with him. He was not at all rich. He lived in a small rented room. It had no electricity. There are uh, lots of rats to share the room with him. He was a great admirer of beauty. He decided to shave every day and always wear a smile. He was very proud to be a handsome young doctor. So the first paragraph of the character sketch is about the homeopath. That is about the character, about the appearance of the character or about the Condition of the character. Alay, homeopathy in the Avasta in the Ananan, you would have paranic another. Every day and a jivik another, Ariana, Adeham Ariana, Adehatana, Rom in the Avasta in the Anna, Richano, Poorano, Anganate Korchagaring a lay paranic another every day. So, number the characters catch it in both. That is the first thing we have to write about the character, about the appearance. And about the condition of the character. Okay? A character and the condition. I think that condition, a character is a kind of person. Duba. Duba. Condition is a kind of person. We have a festival. We have a homeopathy. We have a duba. 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 What are we going to write about the condition? Now let us look at the second paragraph of the characters. I will read. Listen to it, okay? He had a rich sense of humor. He is not rich, but he had a rich sense of humor. The story is full of humor. His comments upon everything were humorous. He recalled his decision to wear a smile as yet shaking. His ideas about his would-be wife also were strange. He wanted to marry a young a rich lady doctor who was very fat who was very fat he could be humorous even at the face of a full blooded cobra he thought of himself as a poor foolish stupid doctor when the snake crawled towards the mirror he commented that 
it wanted to enjoy its own beauty at closer quarters so this is the second paragraph second paragraph of the character sketch in the second paragraph we deal with the character traits of the character സ്വഭാവ സവിശേഷതകളാണ് അടുത്ത പാരഗ്രാഫിൽ നമ്മൾ പറയുന്നത് ആ ക്യാരക്ടറിൻ്റെ സ്വഭാവ സവിശേഷതകൾ എന്താണ് ഇവിടെ ഏറ്റവും വലിയ സ്വഭാവ സവിശേഷത എന്താണ് He called his decision to wear a smile as earth-shaking. Earth-shaking is not that. A smile is not that. It's not that. It's not that. It's not that. That's humor. I don't know if I can tell you about it. It's not that. 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 തീരെ ചെറിയ കാര്യത്തെ വലിയ കാര്യമാക്കി പറയും എന്നിട്ട് വലിയ പൊങ്ങച്ചവും പറഞ്ഞുകൊണ്ട് നടക്കും അതാണ് കാര്യം സോ അവിടെയാണ് ആ ഹ്യൂമർ സെൻസ് വരുന്നത് നോക്കൂ ഈ സെക്കൻഡ് പാരഗ്രാഫിൽ മുഴുവൻ നമ്മൾ ആ ഹ്യൂമർ സെൻസിനെ കുറിച്ചാണ് എഴുതിയിരിക്കുന്നത് അതാണ് ക്യാരക്ടർ സ്കെച്ചിൽ രണ്ടാമത്തെ പാരഗ്രാഫിൽ നമ്മൾ എഴുതുന്നത് നമ്മുടെ ക്യാരക്ടറിന് എന്തൊക്കെയാണോ സ്വഭാവ സവിശേഷതകൾ ക്യാരക്ടർ ട്രേറ്റ്സ് അതാണ് വിശദീകരിച്ച് നമ്മൾ എഴുതുന്നത് Now come to the third paragraph, only two sentences. I like the homeopath because of his humor sense. He tells the incident in such a way that we don't feel the tension of the incident. So, in the third paragraph, I like the homeopath because of his humor sense. He tells the incident in such a way that അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഞാൻ കണ്ട പ്രത്യേക ഗുണം എന്താണ് എന്നും കൂടി എഴുതി നമ്മൾ ക്യാരക്ടർ സ്കെച്ച് ക്ലോസ് ചെയ്യും സോ ഇവിടെ എഴുതിയിരിക്കുന്നത് മനസ്സിലായല്ലോ ഐ ലൈക്ക് ദ ഹോമിയോപാത്ത് ബിക്കോസ് ഓഫ് ദ ഹ്യൂമർ സെൻസ് ഹി ടെൽസ് ദ ഇൻസിഡൻറ്റ് ഇൻ സച്ച് എ വേ ദറ്റ് വി ഡോൺ ഫീൽ ദ ടെൻഷൻ ഓഫ് ദ ഇൻസിഡൻറ്റ് ദാറ്റ്സ് ഓ സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് എ വെരി ഷോർട്ട് ക്യാരക്ടർ സ്കെച്ച് എന്നാൽ ഇത് ഒരു ക്യാരക്ടർ സ്കെച്ചിന് വേണ്ട എല്ലാ കാര്യങ്ങളും ഉൾപ്പെടുത്തിയിട്ടുമുണ്ട് ഫസ്റ്റ് പാരഗ്രാഫ് ആ ക്യാരക്ടറിൻ്റെ അപ്പിയറൻസ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ അതിൻ്റെ കണ്ടീഷൻ എന്താണോ ജീവിതാവസ്ഥ അതിനെക്കുറിച്ചും ആ രൂപത്തെക്കുറിച്ചും പറയുന്നു സെക്കൻഡ് പാരഗ്രാഫ് അബൌട്ട് ദ ക്യാരക്ടർ ട്രേറ്റ്സ് ഓഫ് ദ ക്യാരക്ടർ സ്വഭാവ സവിശേഷതകൾ തേർഡ് പാരഗ്രാഫ് എന്തുകൊണ്ട് ആ ക്യാരക്ടറിനെ നമുക്കിഷ്ടമായി ദാറ്റ്സ് ഓ this is the character sketch okay now let us uh, see how to write a character sketch so what is the first thing the first thing is the uh, this is the title of the character the name of the character okay then appearance of the character first paragraph second paragraph personality traits of the character എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ എന്താണ് ഹൗ ദ ക്യാരക്ടർ ടോക്സ് ആക്ട്സ് എന്തൊക്കെ പറയുന്നു എങ്ങനെയൊക്കെ പെരുമാറുന്നു ഹൗ ദ ക്യാരക്ടർ എക്സ്പ്രസ് ഇമോഷൻസ് ഫീലിങ്സ് എങ്ങനെയാണ് വെളിപ്പെടുത്തുന്നത് ഹൗ ദ ക്യാരക്ടർ ബിഹേവ്സ് വിത്ത് അതേഴ്സ് മറ്റുള്ളവരുമായുള്ള ഇടപെടൽ ആൻഡ് അത്രയും ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ദ ഇൻ ദ സെക്കൻഡ് പാരഗ്രാഫ് ആൻഡ് യുവർ ഒപ്പീനിയൻ അബൌട്ട് ദ ക്യാരക്ടർ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ദ ലാസ്റ്റ് പാരഗ്രാഫ് സോ writing a character sketch is very simple isn't it yes very simple so i think uh, you will write down this question and the, this character sketch in your notebook it's a sample character sketch and you can write your own character sketch based on uh, these points how to write a character sketch so uh, read this character sketch many times then you will get an idea how the character sketch is going on okay so uh, that is all uh, for about the character sketch uh, so the, that's all for the time being also uh, 
today we are stopping here um, so see see you in the group if you have any doubts you can ask me but if you have any uh, difficult word or difficult sentence difficult word you can uh, use google search definitely you should use it it will uh, increase your ability to learn so you will use that google search if you have any difficult words but if you have any difficult sentence sentence manasilavada vannal you can ask me ask me personally or in the group so come back to our group there we can discuss your uh, your doubts and clear it so see you in the next class till then bye bye